So, the War of the Kingdoms for August has come to an end and the results are out. So, we can see on the top we have the newer kingdoms, K99 versus K96 being the biggest overall in terms of the total points scored. But today I'll be talking about K63, who played against K107 and lost. I'll be talking about K69, who played against K42 and lost. And I'll be talking about K52, who played against K115 and lost. So all of my kingdoms lost. <laughs> and here we can see the difference in the scores. So on the top over here, we have K107 who played against K63. We've got K42, who played against K69. And we've got K115 in yellow, who played against K52 in orange. So the biggest point scorers overall were K107, followed by K42. But let's have a look at the defeat between K63 and K107. K107 is shown there in the top in red. And as you can see, started off pretty close and then suddenly later on, they very much pulled away from K63 and really just continued scoring in points. So let's have a look at K107 in terms of the great castles, in terms of who held them. And as you can see, K107 held all of the great castles, with VLD holding King's Landing. If we have a look at K63, we can see coming in, Sunspear was held by K63, BSK held Casterly Rock, and that's it. So only two of the great castles were held by K63 alliances. Let's go have a look at who the most valued player was in terms of points scored. And at the top, you can see with over 33 million points was Texan, followed by R&R, Fandy Ran, and then we had BSK coming in with Odin, and Melino, and then Zerbi, and coming in in 10th place in terms of points scored was Ludan from W51. If we have a look at the most valued killers, we can see again Texan from Sim on top with 21 prisoners and a total score of 12 million eliminations. Followed by RNR Fandy Fan, BSK MLC, W51 Luden coming in there. And at the bottom, we've got, well, rounding off the top 12, we've got BSK coming in with Odin, Melino, and Hound Pike. So there is our most valued killer and our most valued player in terms of points scored for K63. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. So here we have a look at the top alliances in terms of their power. And we have a look in terms of their KVK score. You can see in terms of KV score, we've got BSK, who scored the largest percentage of points, followed by RNR. Third was Sim, then W51, and then we've got MRK and FRA making up the rest. What is shown over here is a ratio of the KVK points scored to the power. So the larger the ratio, the more KVK points scored relative to the power. And you can see R&R and SIM doing very well compared to their size. BSK coming in just under 
and MRK. And you can see W51 and FRA actually doing fairly poorly compared to their power. So they didn't score as much points as one would expect based on the power of their alliances. Next, we move on to K69 and their defeat against K42. So K42 is shown in red and K69 is shown in green. And you can see fairly similar trajectories throughout and being pretty much a consistent battle with the gap just increasing slightly between the two. But it seems overall a good performance between the two, neck on neck. It was, however, a bit complicating because IOM, Imperium of Mankind, was allies of no one, HOF and OV. They had both come from the same kingdom together, so they were actually matched against their alliances. Their alliances. So on K42, you can see all of the castles were held by IOM. And on K69, we've got King's Landing held by no one. We've got K69 held by Ovi, as well as High Garden. And we've got HOF holding River Run, Casterly Rock, and Erie, and Winterfell being held by OG1. And Storm's End was held by RRP. So very much comparable between the two kingdoms in terms of the great castles. If we go and have a look though at the points, you can see the points was very much dominated by K42. Um, you can see the highest ranking player from K69 from no one was Lord Rick. And Lord Rick didn't even make it into the top 10. So most of the points being very much held by the K42 alliances. Well done to Lord Rick for scoring the most points, uh, being the most valued player for K69. If we moved on to the elimination points, we can see Lord Rick fared a lot better, Rick coming in at number five, and Spaz from OG1 coming in at number nine. So two players from K69 sitting in the top 10. And coming in at number 12 is Adeline from No One. So very much dominated by K42 in terms of points scored, as well as elimination points. So our most valued killer and our most valued player goes to Lord Rick, who comes in as scoring the most elimination points for K69 and the most KVK points with a power rating of only 271 million, so shooting very much above his weight. And as one of his alliance members said, Rick is a beast, no fear. So well done to Lord Rick. And well done to all of the players who either eliminated or held great castles or who gathered. If we have a look at the alliances within KVK, on the left we've got their power, and on the right we've got the KVK score, and the last column again is the ratio of the KVK score to the alliance power. The higher the ratio, that means the higher the points scored in relation to their power, and the lower the ratio, that means the lower the KVK points scored in relation to their power. So we can see no one coming in, scoring 34% of the points. HOF coming in next, 21%. OG1 then coming in at 
and the remainder sitting over there. So the KVK points very much dominated by the new alliances who've moved in, doing extremely well and scoring the most amount of points. Really no one, the alliance coming in, scoring the most amount of KVK points relative to their size. So not only, only are they big in power, but they also pull their weight and score the most amount of KVK points. It was a fairly poor showing though from the original K69 alliances. We can see FTF, Core, and MMM coming in at having a very low ratio of KVK points scored relative to their power. Next, we're going to look at K52 versus K115. Again, a defeat. So K115 is shown in yellow on the top, and you can see they did extremely well in comparison to K52, who performed really poorly this KVK. However, it is a slight complicated. So let's have a look at it in terms of the great castles held. If we look at K115, we can see KSA coming in there and holding Sunspear, High Garden, and Castly Rock. Winterfell being held by THP, the Hounds Puppies, and the other castles being held by the K15 alliances. Alliances, we have a look at K52. We can see they are mainly held by the K115 alliances except for Winterfell, who was held the most by KSA. So really a good performance by KSA in terms of holding on to the most great. If we have a look at the most valued players, we've got Jinx from the Hounds Puppies coming out on top and being ranked number five in terms of the most amount of points scored, followed by Suyeon, then we've got Hyperion from VRM, and who make up the top 10. And then 11 and 12 is the Hounds Puppies, Kaladne, and True Destiny. You'll see VRM comes in here. However, they are not ranked in K52 KVK because their alliance is based elsewhere. So all of the points they scored wouldn't have been able to have contributed have a look at the most valued killers. We've got THP, the Hounds Puppies again coming out on top. This time number one is dominated by Suyeon and then we've got Jinx coming in at number two. Number three is Hyperion from VRM followed by THP, True Destiny, Fireworld, Kaladne coming in. Then we've got KSA coming through, Malphite, followed by Freaks and Fred717. So you can see this is really interesting in terms of the elimination points. Nine out of the top 10 are made up of K52 alliances. However, they were completely outgathered in terms of points scored. Um, and that is why they landed up. So our most valued player goes to Jinx from the Hounds Puppies and the most valued killer goes to Suyeon from the Hounds Puppies. If we have a look in a bit more detail, we've got the K52 alliances, we've got their power, and then we've got their KVK score. Again, on the the last column is the ratio of the KVK points scored in relation to the alliance power. If we have a look at the pie chart, you can see the Hounds Poppies dominate the total amount of KVK points scored, followed by KSA, who come in at 21% of the points, and then the other alliances making up the minor amounts. So really well done to THP who dominated 
And you'll also notice that out of all of the alliances I've analyzed, they've got the highest ratio. So they scored the most amount of KVK points in relation to their power. So really, really well done to THP. Really strong showing. Definitely showing why they're the current rulers of K52. So, congrats to all of the alliances who took part. Congrats to all of the players. All of the players who attacked, who held great castles, and who gathered. Well done to everybody. Let's see how we do for the 15th War of the Kingdoms.